Hello, my name is Brookheads28, and today I've got it. I finally got it. The new Lego Ideas 18 Plus Blacksmith Shop. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up and build it, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and I've got the set all built up. So now let's start our review. I think I'm gonna start with this carriage right here. So first we have this small side build for a carriage for the Black Falcons. On the carriage, we have this new um, print for a horse on the head, and it's also a new color for the horse, which is also interesting. On the side of the carriage right here, we've got um, a black falcon shield, and the horse can also move very easily with its ball joint connection. In the back of the carriage, we've got a small satchel of stuff, along with two helmets for the knights. Speaking of the knights, let's look at them next. With the two knights, both of them are have tons of references to the old Black Falcon theme in the 80s and 90s. This first one right here is female. She's, she's equipped with a halberd and the Praetorian Guard armor in silver, which actually works really well. This halberd also has the also has the new piece introduced in Monkey Kid, which I actually call the double bladed lightsaber hilt. The second character, right here, is basically a male version of the other one, except he now, except he wields a broadsword and a black falcon shield. He's also much older and grayer, as you can see. And where, and where's this armor piece, which I don't actually know where it comes from. That's it for the minifigs. Let's move on to the main build. This is the main build for the blacksmith shop. But before we start that, I'm gonna note that this base plate does not actually come with the set. And it's something that I added on to make it easier to display. So now let's move on to the actual blacksmith. And we'll start from the, and we'll go from the bottom floor up. On the ground floor is where the actual blacksmith shop is located. Um, on the ground floor, we have this small tree off to the side, which has, um, a target on the back for for the archer to practice at. I'd also like to note that this tree is one of the hardest builds in the entire set. And if you, and if you're gonna build this set, I'm just gonna warn you, it's a it's pretty annoying. You've also got this small well right here with a bucket. In the back there, you have some storage for some firewood. Over here, you've got the actual forge with a barrel that has two swords in it, an anvil, and a furnace right here. Which you can actually pump the bellows to. If you just press the if you just press the bellows right here, it lights up, imitating the pumping the bellows action that um, lights the that helps fuel the fire. We've also got another one of those swords right there. Inside the main blacksmith shop, you have some cleaning tools off to the side for sweeping up after he's done working. And right here, you've got an anvil that has a molten bar of iron on it. In the back, you have some you have some rods of iron right here. You also have a you also have a skillet, cauldron, and helmet on display right here. Possibly projects he's working on. You also you also have a box of iron in the back. You also have what you also have this grindstone right here, along with two extra um, Praetorian Guard armor pieces to put on extra knights if you have them. You've also got another one of those black falcon shields, along with some coal right there to fuel the flame flames of the forge. Then, now let's go up to the second floor. Starting on the second floor of the house, we've, we've got the actual, well, house, where the blacksmith and his wife would live. On this floor, we have, we have a small kitchen and dining area. Right here, we have two chairs for them to sit down and eat dinner, and I really like the use of those hatchet pieces on the backs of the chair. On the table, you've got two silver goblets, a chicken leg, and some lettuce. And in the back under the stairs, you've got a barrel that might have some ale in it. Over here, you've got you've got a little fireplace for cooking food, where it appears there's some soup cooking. You also have a butter churn, which I really like, right there. You also have what appears to be some, some sort of greens inside of a pot, along with a station to chop food. You also have this store right here, which is just like the one on the bottom level. 
Now, finally, we move up to the top level, which you actually have to turn around the shop to access. If you simply remove the roof right here, which isn't actually attached by any connections, it just slots in right like that. But once you remove the roof, you gain access to the bedroom of the cup of the blacksmithing couple. You've got this bed right here, which I really like because from the pictures, it looked like there would only be th um, two colors on the bed, but actually, but actually, there's three, which gives it a more detailed, homemade look. Right here, you've got a small bearskin rug, which I really think translated well into Lego. I really like the use of that piece right there for the snout. Over here, you've got a small writing station for someone to write a novel at, possibly. And then, in the very back over here, you've got a treasure chest that houses a backpack and a compass. Now that we're done with the actual blacksmith, let's take it a a look at the couple that runs it. First off, you have the blacksmith and his dog. I really like the design of this blacksmith right here, who has a new print for his apron. He also he also has some um, dark orange hair that I've never seen before. Tell me if you've if that's from any other set. He's also got a small dog to be his loyal companion. Now, last but not least, we have the final minifigure in the set, um, the blacksmith's wife who has a bow and arrow and quiver on her back. She also has these nice dual molded legs, which I've never seen before. The torso is the same as Robin Lutz from Pirates of Barracuda Bay. On the back of her head, she has, a, she has a kind of winky face, which I like to imagine is actually her squinting to hit the target of her, of her to hit the target with her bow and arrow. Overall, I like this set a lot. It's probably one of my favorite Lego Ideas set, ranked only behind, of course, the wonderful might of Pirates of Barracuda Bay. If you want to hear my honest opinion on if it's worth the hefty price tag, I think you get a lot of stuff in this set that you would that is perfect for any classic castle fan. And even if you're not, this is a good first set for getting into Lego.